It has been felt by everyone from children to professional football players, and now an entire community says it's also being bullied. Muslim American students say they are being humiliated and taunted, sometimes in the middle of class. And 10 News reporter Joe Little joins us now with how teachers are accused of bullying the students as well. Joe. Well, Steve Kim, it's all outlined in this report called Growing in Faith. The stats are eye-opening, but the details about some of the incidents are pretty embarrassing. It's a story that's been told by so many people. I was bullied when I was in middle school. But for the first time, it's being shared by a group of people. We were called terrorists. We were called, at the time, Saddam Hussein. The Council for American Islamic Relations released a report Thursday. In page 17. Focusing on Muslim children between 11 and 18 years old. 500 students were surveyed, and this is what they feel. More than half said they were teased or bullied by classmates because they were Muslim. Some said they were uncomfortable in class discussions, and their teachers didn't help. Questions like, are you a terrorist? 16-year-old Salma Hassan was interviewed for the study. She says classmates and teachers sometimes just don't get it. Do you wear the scarf in the shower? Do you take it off at home? You know, I'm, I'm really interested in, in learning about Islamic terrorism. Really don't get it. There is no such thing as Islamic terrorism. Salma's dad was insulted when someone was talking about Osama bin Laden's death. Uh, oh, your cousin was killed. The survey said comments like that made one in five Muslim students too uncomfortable to speak during class. Worse, one in three said nothing was done when they told school administrators they were being bullied. Over 80 cases in discrimination just in San Diego in 2013. Salma hopes those numbers will decrease with a study to back them up. It's not only us trying to make the effort, but it's also them trying to incorporate us and trying to make us feel more comfortable. Of course, the study says one of the problems is some immigrant Muslims are scared of the system and never report harassment or bullying. They hope this new study helps turn that around.